Hello, everyone out there. Welcome to the Gloves Are Off podcast. I'm your host, Mark Rizzoli. Joining me today is Rob Kaczynski, the legend of Franklin Township in Somerset County, recently making the news for a sign on his lawn, which said, fuck Kamala Harris. And it was recently arsoned. Once again, radicals are torching the First Amendment. Rob, how you doing? Thanks for joining me today. Good, Mark. Uh, long time listener, first time being on your podcast. Yeah, great to have you. I mean, you know, obviously you're you're a victim here of an arson. Um, you know, people are trying to twist it around because as everyone out there knows, if this was a fuck you Donald Trump sign, you would have been revered and you would have the attorney general, Matt Plankton, knocking on your door, looking to, looking to assist in the investigation. But obviously that's not what we have right now. So just just tell me about what happened that day. The awesome. Well, my wife and I, it was early, early enough, probably around 8.15 to 8.30 in the morning on uh, Saturday. And my wife was getting my dialysis ready. I do dialysis at home. I'm in kidney failure, waiting for a transplant. And someone just started feverishly honking the horn, which since the sign's been up, because before that, as you well know, it said, fuck Joe Biden. Right. And then obviously when Joe Biden's votes were stolen and thrown away by the party of tolerance and Kamala Harris was placed, it didn't seem appropriate to have that sign up. So we changed it. Mind you, it's not a sign I invented. It's not something I take credit for. It was sold. So it's not my idea. I didn't invent this idea right. or the sentiment. And I can tell you, the honking didn't really alert us at first because I'd say one out of every 10 cars honks and yells in support. And there are one out of every hundred that have the F word for me. So for something that offends so many people, it's awfully ironic that that's the word they choose to scream at me, who's not a political figure or a, a person within the realm to be judged at a crucible. But back to the story as we woke up around 10, 15, 10, 30, someone feverishly honking and pulling in the driveway. And then there was a knock at the door and someone frantic saying, your sign's on fire, your sign's on fire. And my wife went out, looked and, you know, said, should I go out there with an extinguisher? And I realized that the sign has an extension cord near it because I also have my father's legacy, a classic antique car out there. And it's lit at night so people can enjoy the view. Right. I didn't want her to put water or use the extinguisher anywhere near the electrical, you know, that could be an issue which as she had told me was already unplugged and turned off anyway, but it still somehow tripped the breaker in the house, meaning it was coming up, you know, the extension cord. And from there, the fire department eventually arrived and the sign had been torched already to quite a few people, you know, slowing down to look, causing a greater scene, absolutely necessary. Well, and listen, obviously, me, obviously you were, you were put. You put the sign up. It's freedom of speech. You understood when you put the sign up, you were going to get some pushback on it and support. I mean, let's face it. There's two sides to this, right? You have you have the people who are against Joe Biden and, and Kamala Harris. You obviously sure. you're you're, sure. you're a Republican. Sure. Um, you love America, absolutely. And, and it's your constitutional right to put that sign up, regardless of whether what people think about it. No one has a right to start doing flag burnings on your lawn again. I mean. Absolutely. You know, uh, do we have the new uh, the new Klan showing up now in New Jersey? Is this is the Democrats are resorting back back to their roots of uh, uh, flag burning and all types of burnings on people's lawns? That's the question that should be asked. But you know, to me, us, go ahead. It's, uh, it's that in Franklin, the Klan was fairly prevalent. And if history taught us anything that it was fairly prevalent in Franklin, is that it was also fairly prevalent in the Democrat Party. So I feel like for the county and the party of tolerance, it surely is very, very odd that there are many signs like that and exact replicas of it around other surrounding communities that are also democratic in nature that haven't been burned down. So I don't know if that's that other areas are more respectful of their neighbors. And if you don't like my sign to play devil's advocate, I live near Emerson Road, which is a cutback that would literally take you less than five minutes outside of your way, completely avoid my sign. Anyone in Franklin knows that. And I'm well, glad listen. It's your right to have that on your property, regardless whether yes, people sir. like it or not. We have a thing called freedom of speech, even though the radical Democrats right now are trying to step all over freedom. So in your case, they're, trying, they're torching freedom of speech. I mean, we see it everywhere. We see it on, you know, we see it on social media. 
Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, now X. So, and, and Zuckerberg recently admitted that he was told to censor. And we had censorship during COVID when the truth was getting out. So now we have Rob Cash here, a uh, taxpayer, loves America. You put a sign out because you're opposed to, the, to obviously, a communist in Kamala Harris who is importing third world criminals who are terrorizing our citizens on our streets and especially the uh, women throughout America. So um, it's your right to, to do that. But then we have Assemblyman Joe Danielson, a Democrat from Somerset County, who claims he was notified of the, you know, the arson on your sign. And he was outside enjoying every moment of it. He even recorded your sign burning while operating his vehicle. I hope the police department in Franklin will be issuing him a summons for um, oh. a cell phone while you know, while driving. But you know he he insinuated that that you are a person of interest in in the fire. Um, but let's let's get right to it right now. Did you light the fire? I absolutely didn't like the fire. It would be extremely and, difficult. For me to do and complete. Can you show me why it would be extremely difficult to light a fire for you? Well, one reason will be difficult. I'm sitting in my wheelchair. I have difficulty walking. My right leg was amputated. Okay. And I've suffered infection after infection. It's made it difficult to learn to walk again. But another predominant issue would be the fact that I'm missing multiple fingers on both hands. Right. It was almost impossible for me to light my own cigars when I decided to smoke them every once in a great while because it impositions other people by having to light my cigar for me. Okay, and then he also said that the um, sign it was ugly, hateful, it's undignified, it gives a black eye to all of Franklin. Now, this is the same guy I want to tell everybody out there. Joel Danielson is the assemblyman, New Brunswick in his district. He had no problem with A.G. Hottis marching and disrupting the Rutgers campus in support of Hamas, a terrorist organization. He had no problem with the defund the police marches. He had no problem with people writing defund the police on streets and holding signs up. No problem with that. He didn't find that undignified to be going on in the college campus. Not at all. He's the same guy that doesn't find um, pornography being put in our children's books and and putting it all over the all over the state of New Jersey in libraries and different sex radical sex curriculum. That's not undignified. In fact, he defends it. So this is the same Joe Danielson who wants to pick and choose what he likes and doesn't like. Total selective enforcement here. And I'm calling on Joe Danielson now. Produce the evidence. Produce the evidence that shows that Rob Cash started the fire. You make statements like that in public. And if you can't, you should resign immediately. The fact that he was sitting outside your house enjoying a burning on your lawn really tells me a lot about Joe. Maybe we should start calling him Joe Clanielson because that's what it seems like. He was out there giggling, videotaping it. You know, he, did he ring your bell to see if you or your wife were okay? No, he didn't ask. He didn't reach out. He has no Of course not. For of anything. course not. Of, of course not, because Joe Danielson is a radical Democrat who puts party ideology before public safety. And if he's any type of stand-up individual as a man, put politics aside. He could have knocked on your door to see if you're okay. Instead, he was outside having a grand old time with a local reporter laughing about it. And I, and I, I assume you sense watched the video. Did you sense watch the video that he posted? Laughing? I've watched it. it. It's too upsetting and hurtful to my wife, who somehow thought that even if you were elected from a different party, you represented all of us. And sadly, that doesn't seem to be the case with Mr. Clanielson, or Danielson. He <laughs> yeah, seems exactly. to care more about party identities and party politics than he does about his own constituents. Whether or not you agree with my sign, that's up to your own opinion. I won't try and sway your mind with violence no more than I expect you to laugh. That's someone trying to sway mine with that same violence. Arson is a felony for a reason. Well, the fact that it's done on your lawn to burn it, you could call it a hate crime. There's a lot of crimes that we that could be put on this incident. But sure. here we have, once again, in Joe Danielson, who's 100% a radical. I mean, his his partner in crime is Senator... Bob Smith recently, they're banning 
banning uh, bl- gas-powered blowers. I, I mean, this is his priorities here. We, in New Jersey we, is a state where everybody's struggling. We have tens of millions of dollars being used to finance and incentivize illegal immigration, all their sanctuary state policies. But yet, Joe Danielson could care less that something on your lawn was lit a fire, and all he did was sit and laugh about it and have a grand old time in front of your home and not even check on one of his constituents. Because Radical Joe rather support his radical ideology than worry about a taxpayer like yourself who is disabled. I mean, how did... How did he know, like, someone didn't harm you or your wife prior to setting that fire? No one knew because no one even bothered to check. And if it had tripped the wire or caused worse damage in the house and I was already attached to dialysis, I could have easily lost my life. Dialysis is attached to a catheter that goes directly into my heart. It's very difficult to connect and disconnect. My wife has had extensive training to learn how to do so. I also have the lack of ambulation, which makes it difficult to run away from a fire. I don't think fires are a joke, and especially someone who claims to have a previous knowledge of being in the fire department. Wouldn't you stop and try and help? Right. Wouldn't you stop and try and put the fire out? I used to be a volunteer fireman before I lost my leg in my community in Pennsylvania. It didn't matter if I liked you or disliked you. If I saw you needed help, I helped. Listen, like you you and I previously said, regardless of whether you like or dislike the sign, that's your right. We sure. live in America. It's free speech. Sure. But the de- radical Democrats saying. are attacking free speech. It's and, only you, free, and it was free on full it, it was on full display by Joe Danielson yeah. how much they're enjoying attacking free speech. Correct. So it's listen, I, people may not lock you sign, but I'll tell you what, Rob, I have a lot of respect for you for putting that out there, you know. I'm a former Democrat, and all Democrats, I say, who love America are becoming Republicans. Sure. Um, I agree with that. You know, the party has been hijacked by insane individuals with policies and encouraging political violence, Correct. which you're a victim of. Correct. You're a victim of political violence, whether, you after, know, people don't want to admit it or not. After our mayor had reached out publicly on a publication in the local area saying that perhaps the sign would be insightful. And, you know, there's no reason with what had happened with former President Trump, you know, there was no reason he would want to continue to incite people. My sign didn't incite people. He tried to preach to me that it would cause some form of unrest and that I was creating political violence when, in fact, someone created it against me. I'm the victim. We've begun to victim blame again in this community. Like with the old adage, they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. But they were walking across the street to buy groceries and they got murdered. That's victim blaming and it's disgusting. Of course, it's selective enforcement. If you had, I still maintain, if you had a fuck you Donald Trump sign, this would be totally a different story right now. You would have the attorney general involved. And I feel based on, based on Joe Danielson's or Joe Klein's, um, relationship with the local government, there should be an independent agency c- come and be brought in to do the investigation. So you, you actually, so you could feel that you're getting a fair investigation. The attorney general, the Somerset County prosecutor, they should be taking over the investigation. P- you know, hate crimes like this, political violence should not be tolerated. Unfortunately, right okay. now in New Jersey, we have, you know, we have the evil Phil Murphy as our governor. You know, we all know all about him and his beliefs. He puts he puts uh, party ideology before national security and public safety. Exactly. And so to speak the- more to that, when the sign initially had said F Governor Murphy, I didn't have the word fuck completely spelled out. It was F ampersand and an exclamation point. And I received more pushback for that because it was during COVID. Right. And the mayor sent... I can believe the mayor or another local elected official sent the goon squad of the police department out and said I had to move the sign. And I said, no, I don't, because I'm an informed and educated voter. And then they suggested I should move the sign. And I said, it's not being moved. It's a political sign. And then they went away for a while. But then when it said, fuck Joe Biden, they showed up again the next day and they tried to bring out the codes division and say, you know, it's a giant fine if it's too close to the road. And because I'm fairly well-educated, I like to assume and hope so, and I work hard to be so, 
I read through all of the policies our beautiful Franklin Township has and realized I was well within my First Amendment rights and my local rights to put a sign up with whatever I wanted to say. It's not threatening. It's not pornographic in nature. It's the F word. Fuck your feelings and fuck Kamala Harris. The sign well, now goes back up. Well, the same individuals who are attempting to intimidate you for political reasons are the same individuals that think it's okay to put put, 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 uh, put pornography in schools. I, they don't have a problem sure. with that. So, sure. well, I want to wrap it up, Rob. What's your, uh, what's your closing uh, remarks to everyone out there who are watching this? If political violence isn't okay, why are the people who are trying to preach cancel culture to me the ones trying to cancel my beliefs? Your feelings don't trump my rights. Well, thanks for joining me, pal. I appreciate it. You know, listen, like I, I said, you know what? Me. Regardless of what people, regardless of what people think of your son, you have every right to put that out there. And I, you I know, agree. I hope, um, I hope people push for the proper investigation to be done there. I mean, I, you know, as a retired detective, the first person I'm going to to question is Joe Danielson. Who called you? How did you know? How'd you get? How did you know about? I mean, you got to the scene very quickly. Quickly enough to where you could videotape it still in flames. He was here before so, the police department, fire department. Left. Right. I live very close to the municipal building. Right. So there's a lot. There's a lot that has to be investigated here. But as always, I just want to thank everyone for joining and please subscribe and share. It's Mark was only for the gloves are off podcast. Remember, God bless America and back the blue.